So for the last couple of years, I've used this Adidas duffel bag as my travel bag. You know, if I get on the plane, it's the perfect size to slip under the seat in front of me. But as you can see, this thing is kind of worn out. Here's the handle right here. And pretty much it's done. It's gotta be retired. I might give it away or just throw it away. So enters right here is the North Face Explorer Holler Pack right here. This is the small version. Let me turn it around. <laughs> Let me turn it around to the right way. Like I said, this is the North Face Explorer Hauler Pack right here in the small. This pack right here is so awesome. So many features in it. it you can see right here as I open and turn it the wrong way, bring it into the, to the frame that it does have shoulder straps on it. You can carry it like a duffel bag or it stands up on its own. So there's not that many duffel bags that do that that's out there. So let me show you this pack because I think it's pretty damn tight. So this is a 43.5 liter pack. It actually has a larger version that is 63 liters. It's kind of heavy at three pounds, one ounce, and it actually measures 11 and a half by 11 in depth by 23 inches tall. So this pack is made out of some super heavy duty and durable material. You know, it's got that North Face no PTE coated. So it's 900 D polyester with the PTE PVC coating over top of it. The MSRP on this pack is 129, which I think is pretty reasonable what this pack can do so let's take a look at this thing from the bottom to the top like we usually do so on the bottom right here we got a big old north face logo and i probably would have made this thing a little bit smaller but this is kind of a big and bold in your face pack and you can see i got it in the brightest ass color red that it could be so that's kind of where this pack is this is like hey i'm here let me show you the bottom of this pack it actually opens up you got a big zipper right here where it opens up where you can stick in you you know you like your dirty clothes or whatever you may have that you want to stick in there like your gym clothes or whatever i stuck in some tennis shoes so my big number 12 feet right here these are some regular chuck converse you know classic and so those fit right inside no problem i can zip them up now they're trying to they're trying to jump out but trust me they'll they will fit wrestle with it a little bit then as you move up you got a little hook right here where you could actually hook it on to maybe a, a hook to hang it up or just another grab handle this thing has plenty of grab handles on it i don't i didn't even count how many grab handles is on it but definitely not a lot so you could pull it out from a lot of different directions let's move on up so right here you got a morale patch filled and north face is nice enough they actually included a morale patch right here so it's like maybe a three by six morale patch field where you can stick on, stick on your favorite morale patches that's a pretty cool feature you can definitely be able to tell your bag from somebody else's bag but i doubt seriously there's going to be a lot of guys out here carrying this pack right now on the sides you actually have two grab handles so what they do is they give you like this daisy chain feature that runs down on the side of the pack with a nice webbing grab handle right here so it's very sturdy very well stitched box stitch and you can hook in some carabiners if you want to carry some different things right here so that's on both sides of the pack so you can actually pick up the pack like this so if you you know you put it in that overhead storage you got a lot of different ways to pull it down let's keep on moving let's move around to the side of the pack right here you have a big old north face logo again big and bold and in your face you gotta be kind of into this kind of thing where you're gonna have big logos showing some people when they travel they want something kind of subtle subdued this is not the pack for that this is the pack that says screams this isn't a north face pack hello i'm here here's the shoulder straps i really like the shoulder straps it really remind me of something that i see on the, the newer surge packs it's almost like a direct copy of those and they're really dense they feel really good I, I like that they do have some velcro there if you want i don't know put another patch on the shoulder strap i don't see why you would want to do that but it's there for you there is a sternum strap on this backpack with the whistle so if you do get in that situation where you deep in the woods you can blow for help 
before a bear grabs you up. Also on the back, you got two zippers, if you guys can see. So one zipper on this side, this is like your quick access pocket for all your travel documents. Maybe you wanna put your plane tickets in there or whatever. So in here, I was stuck in my passport, of course. And you can put your flight coupons in there as well. So if you're going through the airport with this pack, stick that stuff in there and zip it up. YKK zips never fail you up and down. Very smooth, no problems. On the other side of the pack, they actually have a laptop compartment, which you don't see in a lot of duffel bags. So this can fit up to a 15 inch laptop with some new maneuvering. So I was able to fit in my 15 inch Dell XPS, which is my, you know, that's my workhorse right there. So that kind of fits in that section. It is fleece line. So you know that your laptop won't get scratches on it as you're traveling. So that kind of fits up against your back, makes it kind of stiff and rigid. That's one thing I could say that they might want to change is possibly putting some type of foam right here or some type of different kind of padding for your back as you're wearing this pack. Keep that in mind that you will have that laptop pressed right there against your back. But because I'm able to carry my laptop in a duffel bag like this, I'm willing to let it slide. Now up here at the top, you have another grab handle, which is very cool. It's like a two inch piece of webbing, nylon webbing right here, and it's stitched over and makes it just makes a solid purchase on the top of this bag. So you have a lot of maneuverability. So if you wanna pull this again, if you wanna pull this out of overhead storage, you got another grab handle right here where you can pull it out big and wide my big my big hands can fit all five fingers around it and get a hold of this pack now what kind of really threw me about this pack is the top right here so what they did was they actually made this like a two-in-one zipper so on the top you can lay it down like this and open it regular duffel style duffel bag style right then while the bag is actually standing up you can access this second opening where they got another grab handle so you can grab it up like this as well very padded stitched in really well and it's got a buckle you can release regular buckle and you got another zipper so what this means is while the pack is standing up you can access the things from the top very unique design I haven't seen this on a lot of packs so a lot of duffel bags so another ykk zip and it's a large YKK zip. This is like a number 10. I think both of them are number 10 YKK zips. Pretty cool. So let's check out the capacity. What can you fit in this pack? I actually packed it out with some packing cubes. This would be more than enough for me to travel for up to seven days. I put in this pack, I packed it out myself. So I know this pack, when I pull it out of the closet, I'm good for seven day trip maybe even longer if you really push it. So I'm opening that big YKK zip and it kind of just opens up like this. Definitely give you a lot of access to all your stuff. So this is like a big packing cube. This is a large packing cube. This will be like all my shirts for a seven day trip. Then I got another packing cube. That could be all my pants for a seven day trip. I got another packing cube, like a medium size. That could be undershirts and underwear. And another medium size packing cube. And that could be whatever I like. Any other miscellaneous things that I want to throw in. Maybe some socks. So that's a huge amount of space. And inside there's really no other internal organization. That's one thing this pack doesn't have but I don't mind it at all because that 43 liters is more than enough for me to travel for a couple of days. And I know what you're saying, this is not the perfect size for airplane travel, but sometimes you gotta bend the rules a little bit. Just underpack this bag just a little bit and you'll be golden. No, nobody's gonna question you about this pack. It's so close to the measurements that if you leave a little space, it will, it will kind of mold itself into that frame if a nasty stewardess does approach you about it. 
So overall, do I think that I would pay this 129? I say hell yes, go out here and get this bag. It's a perfect bag for one bag travel. So you got a place to put your documents, you got a place to put your laptop, plenty enough space for five to seven days, maybe even longer worth of clothes. So I say this is a win. It's made by North Face, backed up by the lifetime warranty. And I really can't complain about this pack at all. Only thing I might have a minor gripe about is this back panel, which is like, uh, can you really accept it? Can you really live with it? I say yes. You know, the shoulder straps really feel really good. And most of the time when I'm traveling, I put my pack on for a while, then I take it off and I lay it down or set it down on the ground. And it's gonna stand up for me every time, just like this. Super easy super easy so this is an awesome pack north face explorer hauler pack check it out on their website this is george Stefan. i got more backpacks coming up guys y'all stay with me thanks for watching subscribe like i'll see you in the next one guys peace